Hello, my name is Tazen from Casa Geo, the data science and location intelligence company. With the second part on the location optimizer macro. Today we will create the macro in Alterix. I have prepared two files for this. The first contains the inhabitants of Hamburg. The file contains 682 records with the inhabitants, each living in a 1 by 1 km grid. In our example we use the centroids of the grids. The second file contains the same centroids for the potential locations and also contains 682 datasets. So any grid can be considered as a location. It is important to know that the Location Optimizer macro optimizes the distribution of locations based on given locations. In other words, we select the best locations for our network from a list of locations. For our workflow and the macro, we need the following tools today, Browse, Input Data, Select, Join, Summarize, Find Nearest, Macro Input, Macro Output. Our goal is to find 120 locations that serve the same number of inhabitants if possible. The macro, for the macro we need to input files. The first file, which contains the market potential, is in our example the file with the population data of Hamburg. We call the input tool market potentials. The second file contains the potential locations. In our example, these are the same coordinates as for the market potential. But of course it can also be completely different data. Next, we need the find nearest tool. The market potential is linked to targets and the locations to universe. In the tool itself, we select a maximum distance of 200 kilometers and search for the closest neighboring point. With the join tool, I match the found locations to the market potential. Currently, this assigns 682 locations to 682 market potential areas. Later, however, when we use the macro, we will determine how many locations we want to designate in the end. In our example it is 120, so 120 sites will be assigned to 682 market potential areas. Now we create the scoring criterion to be optimized. We have said that the locations should have the same potentials as far as possible. So in the first step we calculate the number of inhabitants that will be assigned to each location. We do this with the Summarize tool, in which we sum up the inhabitants per location. In the next step, we compare the inhabitants per location with each other. We do this by calculating the standard deviation, that is how much the number of inhabitants per location deviates from the mean value. If all locations have the same number of inhabitants, the standard deviation is zero. We won't achieve that, but the closer we get to zero, the better the location distribution is. So we want to minimize the standard deviation. Now we need another select tool. Here we make sure that only this attribute is passed on by disabling unknown. We pass the variable to a macro output tool, which I also call score. Since I want to know which locations will be selected in the end, I also need a macro output tool for this. I connect this directly to the locations input tool and call it new locations. Since I also want to know how many inhabitants have been assigned to each location, I add them via another join. Next, of course, I select the location optimizer macro. And now I have to configure it. To do this, I open the interface designer and click on properties. Here I select which input contains the potential stores and which output contains the score. I choose locations for the input and scores for the output. Finally, I determine whether the score should become smaller or larger. Since each location should serve the same number of inhabitants, the standard deviation should be as small as possible. We select Optimize for a lower score. This completes our macro. After saving it, I create a new workflow. I have two input tools with the market potential and the potential locations and connect the two files to our macro. I click on the questions tab and assign the variables. In the location optimizer tab, I can select the number of locations to add. In the drop down menu I can decide whether I want to get a result quickly or whether it should be as accurate as possible. If necessary, I can also set the parameters myself. 
a smaller value for percent within and a higher value for generation lead to a more detailed simulation. I decide on balance. I add two more browse tools and run the workflow. In the results window you can see the individual iterations and how the score changes over the iterations. As a result, I get a table with 120 locations and a score value in the second output. That's it for today. In the next video, I go into a little more detail about the scoring criterion. If you liked the video, give us a like and if you are interested in the topics of data science and location intelligence, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your time.